Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Now, if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button and smash that like button. It really helps get these videos out to more people, which helps grow the channel, but then also gets all the information contained in the videos out to everybody else. So please hit that like button. Now, if you haven't heard, recently Discraft has made some tweaks, uh, kind of a, a rebranding of their baseline plastic. Um, gone are the days of the Pro-D, the X-Soft, However, it's being replaced with, boom, right here, the new putter line plastic. And I have to say, just visually looking at the new stamp, it's absolutely fresh, love it, absolute fire. Discraft really knocked it out of the park with this. Unfortunately, that does mean that the old character or mascot uh, that was on the old stamp is gone, but still, love this stamp. Huge fan already. Now, so far, we know that this plastic is coming in both, this is uh, considered the hard plastic, but then also coming in soft as well. Now, I don't have an example of the soft yet. However, that is currently tracking at the moment. So once that comes in, we'll get a video out to you, hopefully within about the next one to two weeks here. Stay tuned for that. So to kind of kick things off with the disc here, let's go ahead and take a look at the profile compared to, well, the Pro-D. And, you know, not the best camera angles and whatnot, so it's kind of hard to see, so I'll put pictures down at the bottom of clear image. Really, not too much of a difference with the mold. I mean, you're, it's the same mold. You're, you're not gonna get a whole lot of variances. Um, now, Pro-D is, you know, there are some that were a little domey, uh, flat like this one, and also puddle top. So far with the putter line, I have uh, the, all the ones that I have are very flat on top. Um, haven't run across any puddle top or domey ones, but I have at least been reading through from what people have that they, there are a few puddle tops out there. So at least for the profile wise, no surprise, no real changes there. But now, how does the plastic feel? That's what everyone's gonna wanna know. How does this feel? You know what? It feels absolutely amazing. If you like the Pro-D, don't worry, you're gonna like this. It feels really good, both in neutral as well as cold temperatures. This thing, it, it's still gonna have a nice tacky, grippy feel to it. So you can really trust that in almost any condition, you're gonna be able to get a confident grip, make that putt or make that throw. You can even see here, as I try to move my thumb actually across the flight plate, it doesn't, it doesn't slip, it just has that gradual, that's that tackiness. Even also, obviously, when wet. Oh, speak of the devil. Let's get that on there. Spread that around a little bit. Even when wet, there's a little bit of slip. It kind of moves across the flight plate a little bit faster, but it's still very tacky. It still feels really nice and grippy in the hand. So even in wet conditions, this plastic is going to be a great counterpart to um, the premium plastics. This is what you're going to want to use when it definitely gets either cold or wet out. Now, to me, the plastic actually feels very similar to the Page Pierce Fierce. In fact, we got one here and they really do feel extremely similar. They might even be pretty much the same blend. Just uh, the new putter um, line doesn't have all the swirls in it that the uh, Fierces may have. Oh, uh, sorry, Mittens. All right, but yeah, <laughs> so anyways, um, where was I? Oh yeah, so um, as I say, these feel very similar to the, uh, the Page Pierce Fierce. So if you do like that kind of that blend plastic, these are gonna be right up your alley. Let's go ahead and talk about just how hard is the putter line plastic. Now I've heard many different things that uh, depending on color, uh, whites particularly, I heard that the white um, ones are very, very stiff uh, versus the lighter weights. Um, lighter weights tend to be a little bit softer. Um, heavier ones in general do tend to be a little bit, um, a little bit stiffer. Uh, this is one of the middle weighted ones, uh, 170, 172. And I mean, it's it's soft. It, the, the flight plate is definitely soft there. The rim though is really nice and stiff. Um, it, it gets a little bit of wobble. You can bend it a little bit if you give it some force, but still very stiff, very sturdy. 
one of the more lighter weight ones and it is it is flexible definitely um i don't know if i'd call it extremely um different from the middleweight but i am noticing that it is a little bit softer at least in the flight plate not necessarily as much on the rim but definitely in the flight plate when compared with a max weight again it's it it is noticeably stiffer on top i will say there is not getting nearly as much bend on top so if you're wanting a stiffer plastic more like the stiff pro d and you can't find um a white i'd say go for max weight that is probably going to give you what you're looking for but again it, even though it's stiffer it still has that amazing tackiness and feel for me Personally though, I don't like super stiff putters. I'll probably go with one of the mid weights, but I'm even still happy that even the heavy ones are not super stiff. Not like the first run and the original stock run Lunas. <sighs> yeah, no, sorry. I'll clean that up later. Now, I wanted to do a durability test uh, with the new putter line plastic. Unfortunately, mother nature has hit us in full force and we have absolutely terrible weather going on right now for at least the next couple of weeks. So I'm going to probably do a second video as it gets closer to spring and it warms up a little bit. And in that video, we're gonna take a look not only at the flight, see how different, if there's any differences between the flight between the Pro D and the new uh, putter line plastic, but also a durability test as well. So I think what I'll do is I'll play a full round with both discs, film it, show you the different lines with follow flights or whatnot, and then afterwards also do maybe about 50 putts with each and see just kind of showcase what the wear looks like after a full round and a full set of putts. We'll see. I'm hoping with the slighter price tag that these have, that these have gone up in price compared to the Pro Ds. Um, I'm hoping that means that the durability has also been increased and that they will last longer. All right, everyone. Again, thank you all so much for watching. Please again subscribe. Hit that like button if you haven't already. Please hit that like button. Till next time, everyone. Keep banging them chains.